This tutorial is designed to teach you how to display your historical orders or inbound deliveries inside of GCSS Army. Before we get into the lesson, there are some key points that need to be discussed. The first key point is that the history of supplies ordered or inbound deliveries are documented. That can be beneficial if you need the NIN or material number to create a new operational or basic load list of items for yourself. The second key point is that GCSS Army is driven by transaction codes. This is different from PBIS. The transaction code BL06I is used to display a history of items ordered. From the unit supply menu, we're going to select reservations management, and then we're going to select the transaction code VL06I for inbound delivery slash goods receipts. Within VL06I, we select the button that has list of inbound deliveries. And we're going to search by our provisional storage location or our supply room number. Your provisional storage location, if you do not know it, can be found in ZPBO Struck on the US level. So we're going to type in the supply room number and then come down and clear out the delivery date so we can bring back everything up to today's date. Select Execute. So what we're looking at right now are all the 18 character inbound deliveries. As you can see in the delivery date column, we have some dates from 2013, 2014, as well as 2015. We can scroll this down midway. And we can see some 2016 and 2017 dates in there. So if you want to get the NIN or the description of that item, you can scroll this report back up and then select item view. So right now, if you look in the material number column, that's the NIN of that item. So again, if you need the NIN of that item, this is where you can get that NIN to recreate or rebuild an operational or basic load list of supplies for those commonly used items for your unit. So we're going to scroll this down midway so you can get a better description or look at all these items ordered. I'm going to scroll it all the way down. So we're just looking at a list of everything that this particular unit has ordered in the past, all the way from 2013 to 2017. So it pulled over some of those items that they were ordered in PBIS as well. So this tutorial, again, is designed to pull up a list of all your historical orders. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful.